Hey guys, it's Sasha. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited because I'm filming my first favorites video and let me tell you guys, I look forward every day when people post favorite videos. They're my favorite videos to watch so I'm so excited to finally be doing my own and I did film this look that you guys see right here. I don't know if this favorites video is going up before that one or after but you will eventually see how I got this look. So yeah, I'm gonna go into my favorites. I'm gonna start by um, telling you guys my non-beauty product favorites because I only have a few. I do have quite a bit of stuff to show you guys. So yeah, let's have some fun! The first non-beauty product favorite that I have is this um, Bath & Body Works Winter Candle. I love this candle, guys. Like, you don't even understand. God, I don't even know how to explain it. Okay, let's see what it says. Okay, it has pine needles, icy mandarin, and winter woods. I don't know if I said that right, but there you guys. <laughs> there you go. So, yeah, I love it. It's almost gone, and it's probably sold out. I'm sorry, but yeah, this candle, if you guys have it, you understand my love for it. But next product, a, actually a fragrance, is the Daisy Marc Jacobs Fresh Fragrance. It looks like this. My best friend actually got this for me for my birthday and I literally cried when I opened the box because she knows how much I love it. I just, oh my god, this scent is like my favorite scent in the world. Like, I put this on and I feel beautiful. Like, every girl has that special fragrance that she puts on herself to make her feel beautiful and this is that one for me like it just makes me feel so like girly and feminine and like bubbly I don't know like I have this big one I have this little mini one <laughs> and I have this little rollerball one that my sister got me for my birthday or no Christmas which I actually love because I can just throw these in my bag and it's just so convenient so Thank you guys. Okay, so now to begin my favorite beauty products. I have two palettes to show you guys. And the first one is this Tarte Bling It On Amazonian Clay Blush Palette. I am obsessed with this palette, okay? Like, this is my go-to blush palette. It has literally all the colors that you could ask for in a blush palette. This color right here, this is my go-to color. I am obsessed with it. It's called Prim, I believe. Yeah, P R. I am this color is amazing so this is the bomb the second palette I have is the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette just can we just talk about the packaging really quick like this is to die for like gold is already my favorite color but when it comes in a palette like this and it's by Gwen Stefani then I have to have it so this is what it looks like it has these beautiful shades. It has like a wide range of like neutrals and then a pops of color right there. And this just so happens to be my favorite color in the whole palette. This one is called Punk. It's just gorgeous. Like, are you kidding? And it comes with this beautiful mirror. But it's just the ideal palette. Like if you are a beginner and you just want like some nudes and some pops of color, this palette is for you. It is gorgeous. You have to have it. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to go in like any random order because I have like a bunch of crap here. So the first thing I see is this Glam Glow. What is it called? Glam Glow Wet Lip Balm Treatment. I don't think you're going to be able to see it because it is like a mirror. But I got this on... The, when the VIB sale was going on and that was like what a month ago and look at the look at the dent I have in that I literally use this every day like every day before I apply my makeup every day before I go to sleep like it's just something I have to have it does come with this um no okay sorry about that my sister was calling me about some concealer that she wanted anyways but yeah, what I was saying is that that Glam Glow um, lip balm comes with this lip exfoliator. I love this too. I just don't use it as much as a lip balm because it is, it's not time consuming. I'm just lazy. Okay, so next I am going to pick out... Okay, 
this oil-free eye makeup remover by Neutrogena, is it? Yeah, Neutrogena. This stuff is amazing. You guys will see me using this a couple times in my last videos. It's just an oil-free eye makeup remover. I don't know why it's so amazing to me. I just find it like so great. So yeah, if you guys are looking for a eye makeup remover that won't burn your eyes or is not so oily, like this one is the one. Okay, so next I'm going to show you guys this Smashbox Photo Finish um, Water Primer. I have the mini one because I just wanted to try it and see how I liked it, see what everybody was raving about, and I actually am obsessed with it, as you guys can see. Like, it's almost gone. I do have a backup of this little mini one, and after that, I'm going to buy the full one because it's just amazing. And this one, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer foundation primer, the pore minimizing one. These two together are a dream team. Like, I bought the mini one of this one too because I just wanted to try it because it is very pricey. So, just wanted to see how it worked and see if it liked it because I don't have the best luck with um, pore minimizing primers because I feel like none of them work. But this one is amazing and it keeps your face matte. So these two together if you're oily girl, these will change your life. Next, I'm going to tell you guys about the Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. This foundation is a dream for oily skin. Like, I don't know. Like, I have the hardest time looking for the perfect foundation for my oily skin. Because I get super oily on my nose, my chin, my, my T-zone. It's just really bad. So, this foundation really helps. If you guys are wondering what shade I am, it's medium 57 and this foundation will forever be my favorite until I find something else. This one is just, it is full coverage so if you guys are scared about full coverage foundations, don't be because this one is just like, it doesn't look cakey unless you put too much on. You literally just need like one little squirt on your brush or however you apply your foundation and it just goes on so beautifully. It's just amazing. So love that. <laughs> I'm going to talk about the Urban Decay Oil Control Setting Spray. Again, if you have oily skin, this will be your go-to setting spray. After I finish my makeup, I just spray this all over my face. I literally drown myself in this stuff. It works. It works. Next, I have a couple um, lip products to show you guys. So... This first lip product I have is the um, Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Double Dare. This is what the bottle looks like. I am obsessed with this color. Like, I, I literally, if I don't know what lip color to wear with an outfit or a look or anything, I go to this one. Like, I know you're thinking, like, it's pink. Why would you wear that with everything? <laughs> I love it like it looks good it looks so good on my skin tone and I feel it would look good on everybody's skin tone it's just so beautiful this is what double dare looks like what I have to show you guys is another liquid lipstick it's called pure Hollywood by Anastasia Beverly Hills bottle looks like this the packaging is gorgeous I love it it's like a pinky nude. I feel like this color looks different on everybody. On my sister, it looks a little more pink. But on me, it looks like... It looks like it... I don't know. It's just weird. But it's beautiful. <laughs> this is what Pure Hollywood looks like. It's gorgeous. This is what I'm wearing right now. Okay, so I'm going to try to talk as fast as I can for the remaining time of the video. Because I don't know if you guys can tell, but the sun's going down. And... I'm losing my lighting and yeah I'm gonna stop talking so I can show you guys the rest of the products that I have the next product that I am obsessing over is this lip pencil by Mac it's their pro long wear lip pencil in the shade etc this is actually the lip liner that I'm wearing right now I'll just swatch it next to pure Hollywood so this is the shade etc if it would focus there it is this is a NYX lip gloss Okay, so there's the gloss. I'm actually wearing all three of these right now. I have a, quite a few of brushes to show you guys, so I'm just going to start with a couple of eye brushes that I have. This Morphe M411 brush. It's like a pointer blender brush. 
it is literally so pointy that it kind of hurts and I'm okay with it because it works like it just gets right into the crease with no problem like Morphe brushes are so inexpensive and the quality that you get for the price is just like out of this world another Morphe brush favorite of mine is the Morphe G17 this is just a really fluffy blending brush it looks like this I love this brush like you guys know like if you watch my videos I use this brush every day like in every eye look that I do this brush is the first brush that I pick up like it's just it's amazing at blending out crease because it's so fluffy it's actually from real techniques this is their setting brush but I actually use this to apply my highlight just dab it in any highlight and just swirl it where I um where I usually put my highlight, which is like the apples on my cheeks, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and all that good stuff. The next brush that I have is from Morphe. It's their M439 brush, and this is just like a buffing brush. This is what I use for foundation every single day. Like, if you guys watch my videos again, you guys know that I love this brush. Like, it's just so big and so dense that it just covers everything. The next brush that I have is from Morphe again. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I'm obsessed with Morphe. So this is the M527 brush. It looks like this. It is a goat haired brush so it's not synthetic which means it's not going to apply as much product as a th synthetic brush would which I love for bronzer. I use this brush for bronzer because it doesn't apply as much product which I love. I don't want my bronzer to be caked on. This brush literally does the job. I have this Anastasia Beverly Hills Illuminator in So Hollywood. Here's the packaging. It is gorgeous. Oh my god, I love this highlighter. I love gold highlighters on my skin tone. I feel like it's just beautiful. It, honestly, on every skin tone, it's just gorgeous. Here's what it looks like. You need to go check it out in person because the camera is not doing it any justice. But I'll just swatch it above these lip products that I swatched earlier. And here, like closer, see if that works. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's just so pretty. The product that I have is this MAC, um, what is this called? NC15 Studio Chromographic Pencil Crown Blah 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 Multi Use. I don't know. There's It's just a long name for like... A cream pencil this is amazing this is what it looks like I just throw this on every day like when I don't feel like wearing makeup I just throw this on with some mascara some bronzer and call it a day this makes your eyes look just more open and more awake and it's just beautiful okay it's so two more products guys so I have this Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel I kid you not this stuff is literally super glue for your brows. I used to use the tinted brow gel, which looks like this. This is in the shade Brunette. I used to use this religiously every day until I discovered this one. So this product that I have is a Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. This is literally the best mascara I've ever tried in my life. Here's what the brush looks like. I hope you guys can see that. It's just like... It has this like um, little swoop, which I love because it fits right where your lashes are. So the very last product, or not product, but the very last favorite of mine is actually the camera that I'm filming with right now. I got it for my birthday this month, which was the 8th, and I am obsessed with it. Like, I'm so grateful for, um, for this gift that my parents purchased for me. They knew I wanted to start YouTube videos, so they got me this camera, and I could not be more excited to have this beautiful camera. Um, and it's the Canon Rebel T5i. I'll leave the name down below if you guys want to go check it out. So yeah, that concludes my favorites for the month, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will continue doing these favorite videos because I love them. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, give this a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. See you in my next video. Bye.